And welcome back to another great Kmart haul. In today's video, I popped into Kmart just for some retail therapy and came out with a couple of things that I thought I would share with you in case you're also interested in them. Now, the first items that I purchased is this gorgeous four gin and cocktail glass set. The glasses are 630 mils and they're a gorgeous design that I think would be great around the Christmas season, but also any day of the week for some water, juice, milk, or a cocktail or two. Let me open them and show you what they look like. They come individually wrapped with paper. They're a bit dirty, mine. Anyway, a bit cloudy. They do have some bubbles in the glass there. Can you see that? Um, oh, and another one at the back. So heads up, be careful when you buy them to check them in store. I will have to return these. However, I will buy another set, but I will check them in store first to make sure that they're all in excellent condition. I don't think the bubbles in the glass do anything to it. It just means that um, in the production process, I think air got into the glass blowing or the glass making. But these are lovely. I absolutely love the aesthetics of it. And I think they would look gorgeous on a sideboard with the next item that I also purchased. And the next item is this cocktail shaker set in this gorgeous gold uh, brass design, which I think is very reminiscent of the early 1900s. I think it's just so sophisticated and I think it would look gorgeous with the glasses that I have there on a sideboard, or as I said, around the Christmas period. This comes with a 600 ml cocktail shaker, a 30 and a 60 jigger to measure the alcohol and a strainer. But this will make a great gift set for a loved one who likes to make cocktails or just for yourself if you'd like to make some cocktails and experiment over the Christmas season with mixing some new drinks. This shaker was $12 and the gin glasses were $14. While we're in the kitchen section, I meandered and had a look at what else they had on display. I don't know about you, but I noticed that you can get certain electricals um, only at certain times of the year. Take, for example, this popcorn machine. I think I've only ever seen it around Mother's Day and Christmas Day. Otherwise, if you're looking for a popcorn machine anytime outside of that period, I cannot find one. I purchased this a couple of years ago and it lasted quite well for a long time. But when my children decided to put butter and melt it in the metal canister that um, the machine has, and that somehow broke the system, broke the machine. So we had to replace it, but I was looking for it during the year and I couldn't find it. Outside of, as I said, Mother's Day and Christmas, these don't appear on the shelf. So immediately as soon as I saw one, I snatched it up. This popcorn maker is only $20, so it's a bargain. And it makes really good popcorn, I find. The reason why I popped into Kmart was to pick up this modular brush storage box. I'd seen it online and I'd been in store a couple of times and the shelves are always bare, but I found it this time. Now, this is to replace the container of brushes that I have in my vanity at the moment. I bought last time when I was decluttering my makeup a... Uh, a tray to store my brushes thinking that having them lying down horizontally would be easy to shuffle through and find the one that I wanted when I was doing my makeup. However, I found that in practice, it didn't really work. It took me too long to find the actual brush that I wanted. I'm hoping that with this one, I can have them all lying upright in the container so that I can have them sorted by the right size that I need and all the different um, type of brushes that I want. Now this comes it doesn't come pre-set up like this. I have to let you in on a slight secret. This is the third time that I'm recording this video. <sighs> I think there's a gremlin with my audio and every time I record and I go and edit it, the audio is out of sync for some reason. I thought I'd resolved it. I don't know, fingers crossed this time, the third time will be the charmer and we'll be lucky. But this container comes with these separated like this. And what you do is you take them and you insert them into these slots that are in the bottom of the container and out of one big container you get four compartments which makes it really easy to store your brushes separately large brushes small brushes etc in here and then the lid shuts and keeps them dust free for you each time you need them so I'm hoping that this solves the problem now that I have my brushes and makes my life easier in the morning when I'm getting my makeup on. And this is only $12, so it's a bargain for what it is. Staying in the kitchen section, I stumbled upon these fridge food savers. I think these are new. They're definitely new to me. And what they are is a food containers that come with an airtight sealed lid with little 
clips that will close that you can close to keep the air tight and snug inside or if you want them opened then they can be aerated they come with really firm slide clips that keep the lid snug on top and the inside comes with this little draining basket that is fabulous because it comes with an insert that's folded over and you can fold it and slide it in the middle to create two separate vertical baskets or you can take the insert out slide it open and then rest it on the top of these little ridges here like this and then what it does is creates two little internal shelves, one at the bottom and one at the top, where you can store then um, things like, for example, strawberries, blueberries, carrots, and cucumbers, if you wanna cut them up and have them ready as a snack, it keeps it separated and really, really handy in the fridge. With the draining hose in it, it just means that any moisture that's around the fruit or the vegetables that easily drains into the bottom of the canister, keeping everything dry. It then clicks, closed, and there you go, nice and easy. So if you like to meal prep or prep snacks, this is perfect. It also comes in a larger size. I think it was a seven liter or a six liter. I'll insert it up here so you can see what it is. And of course, all the items that I put will be listed in the description down below. And that container was $7. And next I popped into the beauty section. I popped in there because I'd watched a YouTuber mention that Kmart had released these uh, lip cream pots uh, that are very similar to the Laneige, Laneige cream, which is quite expensive. And I thought I'd step into my store and see if mine had one. Unfortunately, it didn't. So another excuse to have to go back in a week or so. But what I found instead were these uh, back tan applicators. These were $10 and these are great if you fake tan and you don't have someone to do your back. You can use these. They're like a, a back loofah that you swivel on your back and it's used to apply fake tan on your back. The only thing, you'd still need to be able to check your back in a mirror or have someone check that you haven't missed anywhere. And it certainly helps if you're solo and need to apply fake tan on your back. And I bought two, one for myself and one for my daughter. And of course, I can't go into came up with buying candles. And I purchased this fragrant candle, Tropical. It has a lovely citrus scent. The top notes are mandarin, lemon, and tropical. Mid tones are fruity and floral. And the base notes are musk, wood, and powdery. You can smell the powdery, I find, but I can also quite smell the tropical mandarin and lemon, which I really like, and it's a lovely scent. Well, this candle is only $9, and yes, I am still trying to figure out how to make my own candles, because I've bought the wax and I've bought the wicks. I just need to now try and figure out the oils to put into the wax in order to make my candles scented the way these smell. Next, I purchased some clothes. Now, because it's the third time round of recording this video, I already shot the B-roll that I've been inserting up here of me wearing the clothes. So I really know already how these clothes fit on me and what I'm gonna be keeping and what I won't be keeping. So let's start with the things that I really liked and that I will be keeping. The two things that I purchased that I will be keeping are these t-shirts. They're a boyfriend t-shirt and they're only $12. I love the design and I love the color of them. They're like a, a antique color or really casual faded color nothing too bright which i think is really on trend i love the style of these tops they're quite unisex and i just find them really appealing and they jazz up a pair of jeans and t-shirt just by having that little print on them that gives it that old world charm i've styled the green one with black jeans only because i think it lends itself with the black color on it and also with white jeans and both look really good i also style the pink one with blue jeans and white jeans i find it lends itself to those colors on the bottom i can't wait for summer to actually start coming to melbourne so i can start wearing some nice summer clothes the weather around here has been atrocious we've been getting rain rain and more rain i then needed some new slippers and i love the look of these slippers that i saw at kmart these were only 12 dollars, and these are the women's slippers in gray they're quite cushiony and comfortable to wear but what i also like about it is that they've got this white thick rubber sole so you can wear them outside if you're sort of popping in and out of your house these are fabulous they look great with jeans with leggings with track suits with anything really they also come in a lovely mauvey pink color i'll insert a picture up here for you but i thought these would be more neutral and go with everything that i'm wearing this summer the items that i purchased that i won't be keeping because they're just 
weren't for me were these espadrilles high heel sandals shoes from kmart these were 20 dollars and they're the women's casual heels in natural i think i also saw them in black and they looked gorgeous i've seen them on so many instagrammers and youtubers that when i saw them in store i just had to buy myself a pair as well but when i tried them on with the clothes i didn't find them comfortable my foot slides um, to the bottom and my toe rubs to at the end here and it just hurt i didn't find it comfortable at all unfortunately so these are being returned but i'm really sad about that because i really liked the look of them and i wanted to keep them but never mind um someone else will enjoy them. the other two items that i purchased that i thought were absolutely fabulous are these wide leg ankle pants in a black check. I'll insert a full picture here. I love the look of these in the store. I love the way they've got the pleat of them, the pockets, which make them look quite smart with the detailing. The wide leg I thought would be comfortable. The flowy design I thought would be perfect in summer, allowing for it to be breezy and cool. I love the fact that it had an elastic back so it made it comfortable for those days so you've eaten a little bit too much and normal pants might be a little bit snug. So I love the look of these, but when I brought them home and tried them on, they just didn't suit my shape, unfortunately. So that's a real disappointment. These are $22 and I'll be returning these. The top that I purchased to go with those pants is this cute peplum style sheared cami in black. Again, I love the look of this and I thought that they would look fabulous over the top of these pants. I'll insert some footage of me wearing it. I don't feel at all pretty in that, unfortunately. So those items like to be returned. However, overall, this is a lovely top, but it just wasn't suitable for me. So off to game and I go to return those items. If you enjoyed this video, then I'd like you to have a look at this other video that I also did about a Kmart haul that I think you'll enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye.